I have been showing you how to do free motion quilting. In last week's video, we were using a wash away pen. Now we're still doing some free motion quilting. This time we're going to use a different instrument in order to get our free motion quilting marks down. So if you're not entirely confident with free motion quilting, just a free hand, have no fear because these tools really help you in order to anchor that movement in without the fear of is it going to look okay when I get the free motion quilt in onto the quilt. So I'm going to show you another tool that we can use in order to make our free motion quilt in look good. The question for this video is, have I provided some inspiration for how to free motion a quilt? This is how the free motion quilting looks so far. Now in the first episode we did the star here and I did the star using rulers so that was all ruler work, it wasn't free hand, it was the ruler work and in last week's video I did kind of like these squiggly lines and I did that using that wash away pen. Now I'm going to come in and I think I'm going to take this this lighter section here and I'm going to put some more markings on this quilt but with the different marking tool. So let's have a look at which tool we're going to use for this. Let's hope I pronounce this right but I have these things called friction pens and they literally iron away with heat. So you don't want to put them near a heat source before you actually like gets the actual quilting done. Obviously if you were going to use something like this always test it out on a sample before you free motion quilt your quilt. I would do it on a test piece make sure that it doesn't come back. Now the only thing about these is that they will come back in like negative 30 degree weather. Now you might laugh if you live somewhere like the UK but over in Canada and obviously in some other countries you can get to minus 30. So just bear that in mind that if you're somewhere in a cold environment and you get that quilt cold, let's say you're taking it to a quilt show and it's in negative degree weather, your markings are probably going to come back and the only way you're going to get them to disappear is by having an iron. So if you're going to travel with it and it's going to be cold, make sure you take an iron so you can make this disappear once again because they will come back. So let's get the markings on the quilt ready to free motion quilt. I will put a link to these in the description box down below and it'll be an affiliate link so I will get a small kickback if you actually purchase them using my link so that's me being open and honest with you. So what I do want to do is because this is next to a star here and my star lines are going across. I just want to like see inside of like what I'm thinking right now. So because these lines are going across and these lines are going across on the pink, I want these lines to go vertically in order to make these horizontal lines stand out a bit more and pop. Now, I don't want to do these too narrow because I don't want to be here all day quilting every single bit. So I want to do something like this. So I'm going to go back up again, go back down again. I mean, if you can do this freehand, you can do it freehand. But if you struggle with something like this, then why not just use one of these pens? And it doesn't matter, you don't actually have to follow the line when you're sewing, it's just there to guide you. Like I said, I just kind of don't want it to be too narrow because I've got to quilt this. And I do have the habit of going into like micro stippling when it's going, when it goes really really fine quilting. Here we go. Coming to the end here. There we go. I have my markers on the quilt and then I'm just going to get, I'm going to take this over to the uh, mid arm in a second and we are going to quilt around these lines and I'll show you that these lines will disappear. 
Okay, so I'm over at my Tiara Free, my Baby Lot Tiara Free mid arm. I know this is not paid or sponsored. And what I love about this machine is that I have this wide open throat space, 16 inches of throat space. So if you want to know how I've drawn my bobbin up, you'll have to go back and watch them previous videos. So I am going to get straight into the free motion quilting part. So you can only just see these lines look. So I am just going to start quilting away. If you ever need to stop on a curve, always do it on a straight line and don't actually do it on the curved part. See how easy that is? Just following them lines. Just going up and down. It's very therapeutic. out of free motion crossing when you know you have these free motion tools that you can use don't struggle just come to the end and come back down it's actually quite fun when you get into that rhythm so now I'm going to do is take this off the midar machine and we are going to press out these um, markings here and we're going to see that it's just going to reveal our free motion stitching. So you can see quite clearly the green lines there on just on the outside or around the free motion stitching. Can you see that I wasn't accurate with where the line was? I just used it as a guide for my free motion stitching and now I am going to press that pen out here we go I've got my iron warm enough let's press it out there we go abracadabra it's gone somewhere around here is a playlist displaying the playlist of all of the videos i've created on this very quilt so if you click on it it's going to take you right back to the very beginning from when i was actually purchasing the fabric so i'm taking you all the way through the steps of how to make a quilt how to piece the quilt, how to quilt the quilt, how to put the binding on the quilt, how to even wash the quilt. So don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss my next video and also go straight to the beginning and watch this whole series. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! Let's get a shot of my workmate here. Hey, say hi oh. You haven't been on one of my videos for quite a long time, have you baby? Hey, am I boring you? <laughs>